Hello everyone. Welcome to my A Little Extra Practice channel. If you are new to the channel, each video starts with a mini lesson, followed by several problems for you to practice, and finally we will work through the problems to make sure that we are both correct. This video focuses on partial product division. I think you are going to love this because it is easy without having to remember a lot of steps. The skills we will use in today's lesson include multiplication facts, and multiplying by tens, one hundreds, and one thousands. Now, let's get started. Okay, our first problem today is 159 divided by 7. 159 is the dividend, 7 is the divisor, and of course our answer will be the quotient. Remember the dividend is the number being split up. The divisor tells us how many ways is it being split up. So I have our long division symbol, and I put 159 inside, and then 7 on the top. As I look at this problem, my first thought is, what times 7 is almost 15? Well, 7 times 2 is 14, but this isn't 7 times 2 is 14. This is actually 150 that I'm looking at. Okay, I'm just ignoring the 9 right now. So 7 times 20 is 140. I'm going to subtract. I get a 9. I get a 1. Okay, 7 times what number is almost 19? 7 times 2, again, is 14. <laughs> subtract. And I have a 5. Now my divisor is 7. Okay. My remainder is 5 because it is smaller than my divisor. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take these 20 and 2. And then add my remainder. So my quotient is 22 remainder 5. 692 divided by 8. I'm going to demonstrate with by solving it twice that the by solving it twice that the the work can look different but we're still going to get the same answer. So you don't have to worry if you are getting different numbers along the side that I am. We're both going to end up with the same quotient. Okay. This time I'm going to kind of be easy on myself, I guess, and just do familiar facts. 8 times 5 is 40. Add the 0 to make sure that it's 400. Subtract. Now, what times 8 is almost 29? 8 times 3 is 24. So 8 times 30 would be 240. Now I brought that all the way down to 52. 8 times what is 52? 8 times 6 is 48. Subtract, and I have 4, remainder 4. Add these up. That is 86, remainder 4. Okay, not bad. Let's see if I can do it in fewer steps, though. Okay, over here, I'm going to look at 692, but I'm going to focus on the 6 and the 9. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 80 would be 640. I could come closer, okay, but I'm trying to make this easy on myself, so I'm just picking numbers with the power of 10, 80, 50, 30. Subtract, and I have a 52. That seems familiar. 8 times 6, it's still 8 times 6, 48. Subtract, and I have 4, remainder 4. And if you look, I'll have 86, remainder 4. Okay, two different ways to get the exact same answer. Both ways work. Okay, let's do one more. 
Our next problem, 1,250 divided by 9. Okay, over here, even though it's in the thousands, my approach doesn't change. So I'm going to look at 125. Well, I don't want to think too hard. So what I'm going to do is just take 9 times 100. 9 times 100 is, of course, 900. And this will drop that dividend down quite a bit. Okay, so let me subtract here. 350, not bad. Okay, 9 times what is about 35. 9 times 4 is 36, too big. 9 times 3 is 27, but it's really a 30. 9 times 30 is 27 with a 0. Subtract. And this becomes an 8. Okay. What times 9 is almost 80? Well, 9 times 9 too big, so I better settle for 9 times 8, which is 72. Subtract. We have another 8. Okay, but this 8 is the remainder. So let me add these up. 130 plus 8, 138. Remainder, 8. Okay, now it's your chance to practice. What I want you to do is copy these four problems down, pause the video, solve them, then hit play again, and we will go ahead and we'll check the problems together and double check to make sure that you are correct. Welcome back. We'll solve the first two problems, and then we'll get to the harder ones. As I look at this one, I don't think this is going to be hard at all. 8 times 100 is 800. Okay, from there I can subtract and I get 14. 8 times 1 is 8. Subtract 6, that's not a very good one. Remainder 6, and I have 101 remainder 6. Now, if you got the same quotient, great job. You got it correct. Remember, our numbers along the, bottom, the side are not going to always be the same. It depends on what you use to multiply. Okay, this next one. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 80 is 480. Subtract, and I get 12. 6 times 2, of course, is 12, no remainder, and my quotient over here is 82, okay? All right, let's solve the next two. 1,458 divided by 5. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with hundreds. So instead of doing, I could do 5 times 100 for 500, but I'm going to do a little bit bigger. I'm going to do 5 times 200, which will take me to an even 1,000. Subtract, and I get 458. 5 times what is... Ooh, I was going to do 100 to get to 500, but I think I'll do 90. 5 times 90 is 450. Subtract, and I get an 8. 5 times 1 is 8, is 5, of course. And I subtract, I get 3. Now let's add these up. 200 plus 90 plus 1, that's 291. Remainder 3. And the next one. Oh boy. I'm going to do the same thing. Instead of 200, though, I'm going to just take 100. 9 times 100 is 900, of course. And I get 7, 5, 8, 857. Okay. Well, 9 times 9 is 81, so I'm going to take 90. 9 times 90 is 810. Subtract, and I get 47. 
9 times what is almost 47? Let's see, 9 times 5 is 45. Subtract, and I get remainder 2. So let's add these up. 195, remainder 2. Now how did you do? Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.